What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's Ian e Kay, where by popular demand I'm back on over at Pizza Hut, this time to check out another one of their all new oven baked pastas. That's right, and we're getting cheesy with it too, so stay tuned because the oven baked cheesy Alfredo pasta is up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian e K. Stay frosty. Man, this is truly a heavenly yet heated situation I've got in my hands here right now, guys. Very, very toasty on this one. Feast your eyes on it. It's the oven-baked cheesy Alfredo pasta here at Pizza Hut. And guys, a lovely situation of cheesy goodness. Let's break this one on down real fast. Yes, sir, definitely an awesome presentation on all these goodies I have in front of me here right now, guys. Starting off with the main star of the show, the cheesy Alfredo action that we've got with our oven-baked pastas here at Pizza Hut. What this is is a nice portion of penne pasta topped off with a newly revamped creamy Alfredo sauce and two layers of cheese before it's dusted with Parmesan on the very top to finish it off. And guys, a very plentiful amount of that goodness as well. You can see that oven baked goodness through and through and it's looking pretty fantastic. Off to the side, I've got five buttery breadsticks to go in on as well, guys. So a very nice value at $8.99. And I gotta say again, the presentation is killer on top of the aroma, which is lighting up my car very nicely right now. And you know, being that I love cheese, this was definitely gonna be the next one I was gonna check out, guys, because I had so much fun checking out the previous variant that I did the very first one, the Italian meats, which you're probably seeing jumping up on your screen here right now. Definitely take a look at that one because spoiler alert, it was pretty tasty, but do not watch it hungry. That's all I have to say. There's a lot of good footage in that one. But with this, I think we're gonna get some equally awesome footage, guys. As you can see, a lovely situation of goodness here. Alfredo creaminess, a newly revamped recipe, and there is two layers of cheese, and this is already looking Awesome, lots of Alfredo sauce here. Let me just show you this real quick. There is lots of cheesy goodness. As you can see, it's coated nicely. I love the fact that they've migrated over to penne pasta instead of those squiggly types of pastas that they had before. This is so much better. Let's give this a shot, here we go. It's the oven baked cheesy Alfredo pasta here at Pizza Hut. Let's peep this out. Mmm. Oh, <laughs> just the right amount of saltiness from that cheese the creaminess of the Alfredo, and the al dente penne pasta on this, guys. That is really, really awesome. Really nice in terms of the flavor, and a noticeable step up compared to the previous Tuscany goodness, which I actually reviewed a couple of. Chances are you're probably seeing those on your screen here right now as well. Take a look at that playlist and you'll find those goodies there. This is a very nice upgrade. The creaminess is on point. Very thick, very hearty. Let's keep going in. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. So amazing. I love the fact that the accent of the Parmesan on the top is standing out as well. It's really all throughout this. But guys, the creaminess is crazy with this. Two layers of pizza cheese, I'm thinking here. But man, that is a lovely situation of luscious pasta goodness. Really done the Pizza Hut way. The new version of this is really nice. Just look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's keep going in. Mmm. Man, this is heavenly right now. It really is. Mm. And because these are staring at me right now, let's pull up one of the five breadsticks. Again, a crazy value, guys. I mean, these alone are about four or five bucks for uh, just a regular order. But you get this along with the pasta, which is crazy. And as you can see, plenty of that Parmesan buttery goodness dusted on the very top there. Let's give this a shot real quick again. Mmm. Man. You know what? Let me do just a little of the Alfredo sauce with it. Just a little, right there. Hmm. Good either way. Yeah, I do love that butteriness that this has got as well too, guys. Very, very nice. But, of course, we are here for the main star of the show. So let's go for another few on this, guys. A very lovely situation with the cheesy goodness. I am totally digging this here. They've got a chicken Alfredo version of this as well as a veggie version. So we'll probably have to round out the uh, portfolio of Pizza Hut reviews eventually with those two. Chances are you're probably going to see them. But I got to say, guys, this is a nice little introduction to the Alfredo goodness to go with this, guys. It really works very nicely. And again, the value is kicking with this one. That's pretty much banging, actually, with the breadsticks and the flavor is pretty awesome. I love the new recipe that they've got compared to the old one. This is pretty good. Mmm. Yeah. I love all the cheesy goodness on this too. The layer is thick on the top, guys. I mean, this is just minutes old, but it is very dense. So let me just pull a couple more from this here. Giving you as many money shots as I can straight through with this because it is totally worth it. When they say this is cheesy Alfredo, 
they mean this is cheesy Alfredo. <laughs> this is definitely going the extra mile to satisfy. Very creamy, very indulgent with just the right amount of saltiness, like I said, with the cheese. And it goes amazing with the al dentiness of the penny pasta. Pretty nice. Let's go for another couple. Mmm. Ma'am. I can almost kill this whole thing right now if I really wanted to. This is so good. All right, I gotta keep it together to finish this review. So let's go for one more with this one. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more of the cheesy action. And uh, we'll pull this up here. Let me just try and get this set up for you. One more bite, we'll finish the review out with the rating coming up next. But guys, a beautiful situation of goodness. Very creamy, very hearty, and easily worth your time to try, especially if you haven't had pasta over here at Pizza Hut in a while. This is a very, very nice upgraded revamped version of what they've had before. Very, very tasty. One more bite and we'll close it out. Hang on. Mm. So you're tired of looking at this one yet? I am definitely not, guys. You gotta love that two layers of cheese goodness on the very top of this one. That is really what sets this one off here presentation-wise. And of course, with the dusting of the Parmesan, the creaminess of that Alfredo goodness underneath it, and of course, the al dente of the pasta itself. The penne is awesome. You know what you need to do, guys. Give this one a shot. Pretty tasty stuff, guys. Pretty tasty. Hashtag unsponsored. Okay, overall, I'm gonna have to give the oven-baked cheesy Alfredo pasta here at Pizza Hut a rock solid nine out of 10. Guys, these are really off the chart in terms of the value. The flavor is very high. And I gotta say the presentation also rocks on top of everything else here. The creaminess, I gotta say, of the upgraded Alfredo recipe is noticeably different. It's creamier, it's a little bit richer to me, and definitely has the right amount of saltiness on top of that with the two layers of cheese especially. And again, the upgrade over into penne pasta is a beautiful situation because some of that sauce gets on the inside of each of them. And I gotta say, there's plenty of it to go around. But guys, I keep coming back to it. $8.99 over here in Southern Cali with five breadsticks. That's a crazy value. And I have to say again, solid, solid, solid across the board. Something worth checking out. I would recommend it for you. It's pretty tasty. All right, so by the time this video airs, chances are you're gonna have access to these oven-baked pastas pretty much all across the country, I would think, at this point. So do me a quick favor. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this particular one if you've given it a shot. And if you've tried all four, which is your personal favorite and why? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high-quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Yes, sir. This one's definitely worth a third degree burns. I'm getting on the palm of my hand with this one, guys. It was so awesome checking this out right now. Very delicious stuff. All right, everyone. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.